Hello and welcome or welcome back. If you are new, my name is Jen and today we're going to open up and take a look at my Muse Kits box. This is actually my first month with them and I'm really excited. I kind of took a peek in here. This is a really meaty art box. So let me tell you a little bit about the basics. It's $49.95 a month. It says every Muse kit is designed to introduce beginners and experienced artists alike to new mediums and techniques. Full-sized art mediums, every tool you'll need, multiple canvases for a full month of creativity, step-by-step -step tutorials, and weekly videos. I do have a referral link that will get you $10 off your first box, so feel free to use that. I'll leave that down in the description box. So this did uh, come inside this bag here. I wanted to show you so you knew that it was nicely protected. So we open this up here. Got some information there about their point system and how you can share your work online. You got a really meaty booklet that gives you all of your information. Uh, and this month we're working with polymer clay. And I mean, I do a lot of painting, so I've never done any work with polymer clay. So I'm really, really excited about this box here. Uh, they do have a calendar magnet. We'll set that aside here. All right, I'm going to set the box down and pull out the items to show you. I kind of go through the booklet here with you. Uh, so there's a welcome letter there that tells you a little bit more about Muse kits. And then some information here on polymer clay. Uh, bakeable polymer clay gives even more freedom to the everyday person since you don't need any fancy kilns to cure your clay. This month, we will provide you with all the tools necessary to explore sculpture making in a unique and exciting way. Okay, next page, they have a whole list here that explains your tools. And I love that they correspond them with numbers and pictures just in case you come across a tool you've never seen before. Uh, that's exciting. So real quick, quick, I will just pull things out. There is Cos Cosplay Deco White. Uh, clay retails for $16.59 metal tin jars with lids there are four of these retails for two dollars and 92 cents each so these there's four of these again this is what you'll be using kind of like as your base to build around um, muse kits stone texture stamp three dollars and 99 cents stainless steel double-ended sculpting sculpting tools in gold I had to look at the picture number four <laughs> Retails for eleven dollars. Uh, number five, feather wire texture tool. This here, green mixed brush set, seven pieces. Retails for twelve dollars. Even the tools seem like pretty good quality. Royal Langnickel soft pastels, twelve piece, eight dollars and ninety nine cents is those a hobby knife retails for $5.99 even comes with an extra blade in there and then we have a featured treat <laughs> the sour power belt hmm. <laughs> that's fun and then I do see a little uh sticker here that says muse kits I think that I'm going to love this box and be such a long time subscriber and I will tell you why. So when it comes to crafting and things like that, like I need somebody to show me and to teach me how to, to get started. And then if it's something I just like fall so deeply in love with, which seems to happen with a lot of different art mediums, um, I have the basics. Like when I wanted to start oil painting, it was kind of over my head. I didn't I didn't know what kind of brushes I needed. I didn't know what kind of tools I needed or how to clean the brushes or things like that. So with this, if somebody said like, hey, I'll, uh, make me something out of polymer clay, I would have no idea where to start. This box here gives me everything I need to get started. And then I have the tools in my possession already that if I want to just expand and blow up and become this like polymer clay artist, I think all I would need to do is like purchase more of your, uh, you know, the basic mediums, the clay, we have pastels here, but I have all the other tools to just continue on with it. So it's not like a once and done, like uh, it doesn't have to be a once and done thing. Okay, so there is a quick start guide. As you can see here, it looks like they roll out the clay, they kind of put it around that thing and they paint it. 
And they do have online videos that will walk you through that. So it says your monthly inspiration. Now you don't have to follow these. You can make whatever you want out of these. Uh, but they do have four prompts to, prompt, prompts <laughs> to help you get the creative juices flowing. We have fortress, which is probably what that kind of goes with there. Uh, village, fairy, and stump, like a tree stump. There are project pointers here. So like I said, you don't need a fancy kiln. You're going to just put this in your oven. Ways that you can earn uh, points for their reward system on their site. Super exciting. I'll tell you what, what, <laughs> what I see when I look at this and I might veer from one of the prompts or maybe it'll, maybe it'll fit in fairy. Tell me if this fits in more fairy or kingdom. <laughs> Super Mario, Mario. Oh, I, I don't know which it is, Mario, Mario. I have a Nintendo Switch and I've been playing Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> Loving it. Uh, but just think back to your your classic games. The green pipe that he goes down with the red like piranha plant like inside of there. I'm wondering if I can like make like the green pipe with like the little head of the... Like maybe even just like the top of the head of the piranha plant like sitting down in there. Like that's what I see. I want to try that. <laughs> Okay, so that is our box. Uh, the rest of this video, I'm just going to take some clips, uh, video, and maybe pictures of my uh, finished product. I'll do at least one and include this in this video. You can follow me on Instagram at Jen D. Doyle. Once I complete the rest, of course, like I will share my, my finished work on there. I am genuinely so excited about this box and to continue to see like the different things that they have each month. So let's see what I can make with this. Okay, I have completed three out of the four projects. Still have one left um, that I can do, but I kind of just got on a roll and I was loving this. So in the booklet here, again, mentioned, you know, they give you four, enough to complete four different projects and they have four different prompts for the month. I mean, really you can do whatever you want. You don't have to follow it, but they had fortress, village, fairy, and stump, like a tree stump. And in here, they had pretty much like step-by-step -step directions. So here's one for the tree stump that'll walk you through that. And then they also had this one here will walk you through to do the fortress one. So I actually did both of those. I did the fortress first um, and that used this stamp thing. At the end of this video, because I did do like a time lapse as I was going through, so if you're interested to kind of see the process, uh, I'll I'll tag that in at the end there. But here's my little... I cannot tell you how much I loved this kit. Again, this is my first month with Muse Kits, and I, I can't wait to see what they have next month. Um, but as I mentioned, I've never worked with clay before. Um, so here was the clay... And I did kind of like cut it into four pieces because I didn't want to like use too much for one and then not have enough for another. Uh, so I kind of rationed each one out. So uh, this is like a fourth of it here. Now I expected it to be like softer right out of the box, but I looked up like this specific product um, and it said like that's normal to kind of be like crumbly and you really got to like work it to get it ready to go. Um, and then like, here's a piece here that I had, you know, worked through and it does kind of stain your hands a little bit, just FYI. And then you have the pastel colors that, here's my knife here, you would, uh, kind of scrape off that color there and you could either mix it right into the clay as you're kneading it or, um, use your paintbrushes that were provided to kind of dip into that and paint um and I did did both so for the paintbrushes again it came with this this whole set here and I will say for the whole thing I think I only used one brush um and with the quality of the brushes so I mean a little dab of glue and that'll be fine um and it's not like I purchased this entire kit so I could get like good brushes or whatnot but just and it still worked. Just thought I would mention that. <laughs> this thing here was my favorite. It made, if you can look at the detail there on that, like the wood, like that is just perfect. 
Um, and then my tree stump, same thing. I used this like pretty much over the whole thing. And just look at the detail on that. I just, I love that. And then I was just kind of painting. I used the green and the black and some blue and some yellow. And I just, oh, it came out so great. There is the top there. And then I went ahead and do a, did a third one. This one's kind of, this one like kind of came out of the oven just a little bit ago. But remember I talked about like the, the Mario plants. <laughs> now, I don't think I attached his head very well. Like I made a little base for it and I thought that I had kind of like smushed the clay up to kind of hold it. But uh, I might have to add some more and try to attach that better. Uh, but <laughs> here's that. I love it. Um, and on all of these, the lid does come off. My recommendation for that, we'll do the tree. So, I mean, as I had wrapped it around, like I didn't do the bottom and then the lid, um, you know, went all the way up and I kind of just formed it the way I wanted to. Um, painted it and then at the very end I took this exacto knife here and you can actually kind of tell because um, it kind of bumps out a little bit there so you want to go around and kind of cut like right below that so you go around cut it I would recommend because I didn't do it on this one I had to go back and do it um, once you cut around then you take this off right inside there and there your clay is still going to be a very bright white <laughs> so then when i put the lid back on like you could kind of see and i was like i don't like that so again after i cut it then for the tree i did paint the bottom there and the top rim where the clay was still white and then I actually did put it in the oven in two separate pieces. And then when it comes out, you let it cool and then you're good to go to you put it back on. This is so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with the last one. But this was a great, great kit. Um, definitely recommend it. This was so much fun. And like I said, I'll throw in those time-lapse videos in the end there. Uh, but thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.